Hey you guys, it's your girl D, and I'm back with another video. This video is video number five of my entrepreneurship series. Um, today I will be talking about how to start a business. I did a video on how to start a lip gloss business, but now I'm just going to talk about a business in general. Um, a lot of people don't know where to start when it comes to starting a business. Um, it is very hard. To be honest, I don't think there's any right way to start a business or I don't think there's like a pattern of things that um, you need to do in order to start a business. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk about the things or the, the way I would go about it now that I know how to start a business. So now I'm about to give you a list of ways or things I think I feel like you should do. Um, they don't have to be in order, but for me, if I was to do it again, I would do it in this order. So the first step I would do is come up with an idea. Come up with what are you going to sell? What are you going to sell? Are you going to sell services? Like, are you going to be like a physical trainer? A yoga instructor um, or are you going to sell products like lip gloss makeup um, things of that sort so are you going to sell services or are you going to sell products those two are different and you should know exactly what you're going to sell before you start a business so the second thing I would do is I would come up with the name for my business now, this was the hardest thing for me to do. It took me forever to come up with a name because I want my name to be I want my name to be catchy and I want it to, but I want it to be short enough for people to remember. Um so I it took a very long time to come up with a name and I wasn't able I wasn't able to start my business without my name. Like I knew what I wanted. I know what I, I knew what I wanted to sell, but without the name, it just didn't feel real. So once I came up with that name, the next step I went to is I started creating my logo. Um, now, logo, it doesn't have to come at any step. Um, I just, I came up with the logo before I even came out with my website or anything else because when I was able to see that logo, I it gave me more motivation. It gave me more more urge to to do what I have to do to get my business because it's like I see it. Now I see my logo. I see my name on this logo. Or, you know, I see my print and now now I have to get it out there. Now I have to sell it. So, now that you came up with your logo, now I feel like you should know how are you how are you going to execute your plan are you going to go to people's houses to to do the services are you going to rent a building for your services or are you going to drop ship your products or are you going to make them in your home and sell them or and ship them from your home or are you going to buy from a wholesaler ship it to your house and then um, ship it to your customers so come up with a plan of how you're going to execute that plan um, and then once you execute that plan come up with your pictures pictures I say are very important because I was not able to do any of my social media or my business without my pictures now granted you could start your, you could sign up for your website you could sign up for your social media but without the pictures it's just it's like your business isn't alive yet. So I would come up with the, I would take pictures of my product or, or do flyers or of that sort of how, what am I going to put on my website pretty much? So since I run lip, since I do lip gloss and, um, you know, different products and stuff, I'll take pictures of all of my products. And then the next step, I'll do my social media and my website. Those two, it really doesn't matter which one you do first. 
I would do my social media first so once you get to your website you could connect all your social media right then and there so then you don't have to go back and cl click everything and put everything into your website so you know do all, do your social media put all your pictures on your social media your logo all that good stuff and then do your web for the website there are so many options for you to um, choose what websites you want I run my website off of Shopify um, and I got my domain name off of GoDaddy. Um, I could have bought it off of Shopify, but it was just cheaper off of GoDaddy. <laughs> so, um, but you know, there's Wix, there's uh, WordPress, there's, um, there's so many out there. There's so many out there. Just do your research and, and pick whichever one fits you pick um the one you know that fits your budget that fits you know the way you want to run your business so do your research youtube um google all that good stuff and then next once you're done with pretty much your logo your pictures your social media your website now it's time to advertise now i would advertise probably about two weeks to about a month before I open up my website just so you could get the hype so people are so you know you are showing people what you're gonna sell you're you know doing videos of like behind the scenes or you know whatever you're gonna do do that before you launch your store so people could you know pretty much line up the day you you launch your website so people know what they want to get so once you launch you're getting orders so advertise advertisement um do it on every social media platform that you have um you know do different flyers do banners there's so many things that you could do with advertising um you know just do your research and advertise geared towards your audience you want to advertise where your audience is so like my audience is i feel like younger generation um you know lip gloss but then the body products older women like it too so i gear my toy my stuff towards women in general so that would be um instagram facebook twitter um snapchat all i would advertise all on there because I know that's where my audience is now some you know some products or services might not all you know geared towards you know the younger generation um, or it might not gear towards the older generation you just have to really find your audience and then advertise the hell out of your business and then once you are done advertising launch your business and this should be this should be a, a very fun, exciting experience. It shouldn't be stressful. If it's stressful, I feel like it's going to take the pride and joy out of what you're doing. Because you're doing this business, I would hope, because you want to you want to give and you want to, you know, spread your love with um with the world. Um, and of course, you know to make some extra money, uh, but I really hope this video helped you guys If you guys have any more ideas of what you guys want to see on my channel, please let me know um, I'm kind of starting to run out of ideas for my entrepreneurship series um, So I might gear towards I don't know something else soon but let me know what you guys want to see um if you guys what if you guys like to see um me making my products or making even other products um just let me know let me know if you guys want to see something like a vlog of me you know making my products or something just let me know comment down below please make sure you guys like this video give it a thumbs up please excuse me Please subscribe and please hit that notification bell so every time I post, you guys get the ding. 
naturally d's collection just posted <laughs> um you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please share with your fat your 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 friends your family people who are trying to build a business but don't know where to start um but again i thank you guys for sitting here and watching me ramble on about how to start a business i hope again i hope this video helped you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video guys love you bye you guys, thank you so much for all your support. Ever since I started doing this series, I noticed that I'm getting a, a more more um, views 